Hello everyone and welcome back to our reading of The Supernatural. Today's chapter, Living More Than Once. Let's get started. The Eastern religions of Buddhism and Hinduism and some followers of Islam teach that the soul is reborn on earth after death. This process is known as reincarnation. In Western countries especially, scientists have not yet accepted that humans have souls which survive death. Yet there is a surprising amount of evidence which seems to indicate that reincarnation does occur, both in Eastern and Western countries, and that it is not uncommon. In recent years, Evidence in favor of reincarnation has begun to emerge in Europe and America. The sensation of déjà vu has long been known. This occurs when a person visits a place they do not know and feels that they have been there before. Such feelings might be caused by memories of a past life. They have, however, been dismissed as figments of the imagination. More important is the case of a French art student named Diane, which was reported in the 1960s. In her early twenties, Diane remembered sailing to the Pacific as a young child on a ship named Chandanagar. Diane claimed that the voyage ended in disaster with many passengers being eaten by cannibals. She had, however, never made such a voyage. Diane's teacher investigated and found that Diane was remembering a true voyage which took place in 1879, years before she had been born. Researchers became convinced that Diane was recalling the event from a past life. In the 1970s, Arnold Bloxham, a British hypnotist, revealed staggering new evidence for reincarnation. Bloxham used his hypnotic powers to take patients back to their youth. One day, Bloxham asked a patient to remember what had happened before their birth. To Bloxham's amazement, the patient began describing a life which had taken place many years earlier. Bloxham felt certain he had stumbled on evidence for reincarnation. Bloxham hypnotized hundreds of people and asked them to remember events before their birth. Most recalled past lives which they described in great detail. Bloxham taped the conversations and began to investigate the details. The vast majority of the lives were very ordinary. One subject said she had been a seamstress in London during the 18th century. Bloxham found it impossible to discover if these people had really existed or not. Birth certificates and other records were only introduced in recent years. However, he was able to match the descriptions of everyday life with reality. Almost without exception, Bloxham found his subjects were accurately describing life in past centuries. A few subjects, however, mentioned historical characters in their past lives. When these statements could be compared with the truth, they were found to be accurate. When Bloxham published his findings, other hypnotists began similar research. Perhaps the most remarkable research program was that undertaken by the American Helen Rombach. She hypnotized as many as 60 people at a time and asked them specific questions about past lives. The subjects were asked to write down the answers. Rombach has found that most people were able to recall past lives. In the vast majority of cases, the information remembered proved to be accurate. Lee's astounding results seemed to present evidence of reincarnation, but it was not long before doubts were being cast upon the findings. Scientists who did not accept that reincarnation was possible 
inspected the stories of past lives. In many cases, they found that the subject had read about the historical period in question and revealed the information under hypnosis. One of the most famous of Bloxham's cases involved a woman who recalled six lives. The historical knowledge shown by the woman was remarkable. It was found, however, that the past lives were nothing more than descriptions of historical novels. The woman must have read the books and forgotten them and then recalled the tales as past lives. The scientists concluded that there was no evidence in the hypnotic sessions to prove reincarnation. They decided that the so-called past lives came from deep within a person's imagination. The scientists' conclusions do not account for all cases of past lives revealed under hypnosis. Even if all the cases could be explained away, the evidence of Diane and Emaud Elawar and other similar cases would still remain. Perhaps there is indeed the possibility of reincarnation. So, ultimately, the question is, what do you think? I do believe it is a possibility. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you next time. See ya!